So a few weeks ago, I was able to drive the 2020 Charger SRT Hellcat with the wide body, and that thing is just a monster of a car. And while it will rain terror on the road, it also rains terror on your bank account. For many years, I have said that the Scat Pack is actually the best bang for your buck option you can get with both the Charger and Challenger. That's what we're in today. So let's see if that still reigns true. Let's jump into the review. We jump into the review of this vehicle let's talk about the trims offered for the charger you have the sxt you have the gt you have the rt you have the scat pack you have the scat pack with the wide body which is what we're driving here and you have the srt with the wide body there's also a few special editions thrown in there the daytona and different ones like that but that's a basic breakdown of their lineup and again this is the scat pack with the wide body and we have the plus package and a few other things that we'll talk about as we get into it so let's talk about the exterior to start off with first of all this exterior color is called octane red i think it looks pretty good the srt that we had was a white vehicle and i quite like white vehicles but it's nice to throw some color in there as well there's another red one that uh, I've seen, but I definitely like this octane red a little bit more. Up front, you obviously have those bi-function HID projector headlamps, and these are added with the driver confidence group. You have the power bulge hood. Depending on what level of vehicle you're getting, you're gonna get a little bit of a different hood. This one is the power bulge. It comes with the scat pack. And of course you've got that scat pack B up front on that honeycomb grill. So what the wide body offers you here is obviously these wide fender flares and those help contain these larger tires. These are 20 inch by 11 inch devil's rim aluminum wheels the non-wide body has wheels that are 20 inch by 9 inch so you get a couple of extra inches on those wheels for added grip behind those wheels are brembo six piston fixed front caliper brakes and they're wrapped in pirelli branded tires and of course something else to look at on the side of the car is that 392 hemi badge giving you an idea of what's under the hood here moving along to the rear of the car you have that unique rear spoiler here the unique rear fascia that comes along with that wide body kit you also have the light bar the led racetrack tail lamp it's a signature of the dodge brand and it has been for a while and it still looks really cool on this charger obviously once again you get that scat pack b displayed here on the trunk and you get some pretty massive exhaust ports with that let's take a quick look in the trunk now this is a pretty large trunk because it is a pretty large sedan it's 16.5 cubic feet of cargo space plenty of room for a family for a grocery grabber plenty of room for some luggage plenty of room for uh, camera gear or a, a set of golf clubs pretty much anything you want to put back here you got space for it's a really large size trunk all right, moving right along, let's check out what's under the hood. All right, so this is the 392 engine. It's a 6.4 liter Hemi v8 engine this engine was slated as just an srt engine and then it was moved down into the scat pack trim which again is why i say that the scat pack is one of the best bang for your buck trims that you can get with the charger or challenger this pushes 485 horsepower 
475 foot-pounds of torque and is matched up to an eight-speed automatic transmission. And obviously that's nowhere near the power that you get out of the SRT now with that supercharged engine, but it's still a lot of power in this thing. Let's jump inside, check out the interior, then we'll take it for a drive and really feel that power. So moving into the rear seats, as you see, there's plenty of room. I'm 6'1", I got plenty of knee room. The uh, roof line is a little bit short. I kind of have to hunch over a little bit, but I'm pretty comfortable back here and you got pretty nice materials. You have heated seats back here. You have two USB chargers back here and we get a fold down armrest with cup holders built in there. All right, and inside this car, it's a pretty unique interior. We have the black and camel interior. Again, it's pretty unique. I think I like it. It's not something that I would uh, necessarily choose myself, but uh, it's pretty nice. We do have a leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel, and this does come with the wide body package. We have these Napa leather with suede seats and the Scat Pack logo stitched into the seats here. And these are thanks to the plus package that we have. And these are heated and ventilated seats. And of course, power adjustable four-way power adjustable lumbar. We also have the premium stitched dash panel up here. And again, that's thanks to the plus package that we have and the performance inspired shifter down here. And tech wise, there's quite a bit to talk about also. First of all, these side mirrors have the blind spot monitoring uh, indicator in them. They're also heated and they're memory. So whenever you set your seat memory, the mirrors will remember what your position was as well. We have the seven inch driver information cluster that can show a lot of different information to the driver. And you can cycle through those through the steering wheel here. Your main screen is an 8.4 inch touchscreen display that's running Uconnect 4C and has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integrations. You also obviously have some USB ports. You get two regular USB ports in the console and then a 12 volt uh, power accessory port here up front. The audio system in here is an Alpine system and you have six speakers. You also get a lot of safety features. We already talked about the blind spot monitoring, but you also get blind spot cross traffic. So when you're backing up, it will uh, detect things coming into your back and you get the rear view camera. All right, and with that, let's finally start her up and take it for a drive. So along with being very powerful, this thing still handles really well. Those wide tires really help you keep grip. And of course, with the power, you can just power through pretty much anything. Getting the wide body also gets you the wide body competition suspension. So the suspension's a little bit tighter in this than it would be in other scat packs. But it really gives a great feel to the car. You also do get your drive modes. You get a track mode, a sport mode, a custom mode, and the auto mode. Unlike the SRT, putting it in different modes does not change the uh, kind of power that the engine's putting out. It's always putting out that 485. But of course, depowered, the SRT still has 500 horsepower, so it's, so it's just above this anyways. But that's not the point. The point is, this is a super powerful car, a lot of fun, and at a good price, which we'll talk about in just a second. It's just a glorious sound, a glorious feeling being pushed back in the seat. If you're a car fan, you've got to love it. Now you can hate on the Charger for being based on an old Mercedes platform and then still being run for a long time without too much updates to it. But uh, when the formula is there, you don't need to fix something that's not broken. Tinkering on the edges is exactly what you need to do. And every time I get into a new Charger or Challenger, I'm just reminded of how good they are. So although it would be cool to see a whole new platform, whole new kind of design and everything, you just can't beat the Charger that we have now. And really when it comes to competition, there's just not much that competes with this. 
in this price range, an American muscle car sedan. Again, it's just great. Ford's not building anything like this. Chevy isn't building anything like this. And I think they should be. And this being kind of an older design, an older car, not too much updates. The biggest update in this is the wide body package. I'm probably missing a lot in this review that I've discussed in other Charger reviews, but you can always definitely go back and check out those other ones. I'll leave a playlist uh, up in an iCard if you're really interested in checking out probably all of the Charger reviews that I've done over the years. And then again, you got these corners that you can just hit, power through and hold on. <laughs> That's nice. All right, now that we got all that out of the way, I really still like this car. I still think it's one of the best bang for your buck for the Charger and Challenger, the Scat Pack. Uh, let's talk about the price a bit. So the base price for a Scat Pack is $39,995. Uh, this one has the wide body package, which is a $6,000 option. It has the plus group, which we've talked about, has a lot of the extra bits um, on the interior. That's $1,995. The driver convenience group, which gives you those headlights and a few other things, uh, is $795. The three season tires that we have here is uh, $695. The destination charge for this vehicle is $1,495. So our total MSRP for this car is $50,000. 975. And honestly, for a sedan with 485 horsepower, just pff, that's a really great price for the power that you get. Now, of course, you can get other cars with nicer interiors um, and maybe better handling, although this does pretty well, like we saw in the drive portion. But all in all, if you're looking at the Charger and you're looking for a really great drive uh, without completely crashing the bank, the Scat Pack is a great vehicle to buy. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. The last time I did a video on a Scat Pack Charger, it's one of the uh, most viewed videos that I've had so far. So I hope this video does as well. I want to say I appreciate all the people that take the time to watch, especially if you get this far in the video. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, I hope you're subscribed. If you aren't, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the thumbs up, share this video to help it grow. And as always, guys, just thanks for watching. All right, guys, well, I know this is the end of the video. You've heard me ramble enough through this video. This is my time to just kind of throw some stuff out there. If you're still checking out the video at this point, again, I really appreciate it. But uh, definitely go check out TXGarage.com. We've got a lot of great uh, contributors there, writers. We write about um, car reviews as well, but also events happening here in Texas uh, and around the country. Also, we do news coverage on things coming out. So definitely go check out TXGarage.com. All the videos are posted there as well, um, as well as YouTube. But uh, a lot of other contributors post there for their written content. So go check out TXGarage.com. There's a newsletter you can sign up to. And we're going to have a lot more coming out pretty soon that I'm excited to talk about. But uh, definitely thanks for watching this video.